Oh, it's a fish. It's a pike. Is it a pike or it's a trout? A pike. It's a pike. It's a pike. Yeah. It's a good pike, dude. That's, that's a nice pike. Oh, I missed that. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, yes. Nice. You want to get the hooks out or you want to give it to me? Ah, no, you can't. Okay. Oh, that's a fat pike. Yeah, that is, man. Yes, dude. Yes, dude. What a fatty. <sighs> wow. What, what's my intro? Oh, hey there. Thanks for clicking on this video. Welcome back to Adam's Real Adventures. Today, we're on a new adventure. We'll let this guy go. Welcome to part two of a two-part series. The first part of this video is on Ben's channel. I'm gonna link it in the description below. You should definitely go and check out Ben's uh, video because I caught the biggest bass I ever caught in my life. It's friggin' huge, I promise you. All right, we gotta go, we gotta move. We're gonna head to our portage, I might troll some more. Fish on trolling again. This one feels different. Lots of head shakes. I think it's a trout. Totally. Yeah, nope. Totally. What? A brown trout, yeah. <laughs> a bronze trout. A brown sorry. bass trout. Bronze trout, yeah. All right, well, here it is. Brown trout. <laughs> sorry, front neck outfitters. One of the keys to happy trails, snacks. Been caught one in the weeds. I was not expecting to catch one here. I was like, there's no way there's gonna be fish back up in here. I'm recording. So, <laughs> it was a little unexpected. Didn't think I was gonna get something in this thick of weeds. It's pretty nuts. Didn't think anything was even living back here. But, a little largey. It's pulling across the uh, top of the weeds. I was like, maybe something will hit it. I'm pulling a swim bait across the top of the weeds. And yeah, I had a, <laughs> I had a blow up. And then right when I came off of the edge of the weeds, something smashed it. If you've ever caught a fish in a crazy way just like that, let us know. Drop it in the comments. This is sweet. This is really cool back here. This is cool. Just coming up to the portage now. Ben wants to go just past the portage and check it out. Yep. So we gotta we're gonna count to three and paddle really hard and try and make it up this. We're going. Yeah. No, but all, in all seriousness, um, I've been to Front Neck Park plenty of times. And frequently I cross the Kingsford Dam. Well, the Kingsford Dam is just upstream for the, from this, and I always wanted to see what was downstream. So now I kind of saw the end of it. I don't know what's in between, but still, answers some of my questions. There, there we go. Nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> the follow-up. Yeah. A little hunk. That was sweet. You didn't tell me you were recording. I would have sucked my gut in. Your hair looks good. Oh, thanks. Making it feel good under the hat, you know? I don't know. Oh, right. <laughs> I didn't need to. I'm sorry. You did it! Yeah. Hi ho, hi ho, off the things where we go. Ben just brought up a good point there with the boat on his head. The portage signs are down low on the tree. So even with the canoe on your head, you can see them. That is a often overlooked feature.
Not something you see in a portage every day. Way to go, Ben. You did that all by, oh, sorry. I thought, I thought that was your face. Here's your face. <laughs> you did that whole portage by yourself. For sure. I took a break. You did? Yeah. 800 meters, that's a good portage. Yeah, 760. One. So, yeah. Kingsford Lake. Yeah. It's, uh... In front of us. For sure. You said it's shallow? Very shallow. Well, for the most part, the north half of it's really shallow. So no trolling. Just wanted to point out this bait. I think it's called a stinger, but it is from Dead End Lures. They are a company in the Kawarthas. They hand make their lures. I don't know if they hand made the spoon, but they certainly decorated it. So big shout out to John and Emily from Dead End Lures. I'm hoping to catch a pike on this, but some bass as well would be awesome. Let's see if we can make it happen. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. It's not a big one, but better than some of the other. Look at the, the line on it. They're like perfect diamond shapes. Oh yeah, wow. That's a good look to you. See you later. Yes. You on? Yeah. Nice. The amount of bass I've caught on a spinner bait, you should probably be giving it a try if you haven't. This is what happens when you have fishermen on a canoe trip. Just one more cast. That's right. Caught a pike on that dead end lures. Jeez, he's lively. Okay, so a couple things just happened. My camera battery died. I caught a pike on that dead end lure spoon. Ben's got a picture. I don't have any video of it, but we'll put a picture up. I don't think I have any video, I might. We don't think, he might. If there is, you'll see it now. That's right. Um, and also the pike was flopping around in the net and knocked the ND filter right off my camera. So now it's at the bottom of the lake and the little adapter that I need to attach my ND filter. Thankfully, it wasn't my camera. So I'm grateful there. So it's only $50 you lost, right? Yeah, 50 bucks. Donation link will be in the description below. <laughs> we're still in Kingsford, but we're on our way to Birch right now and we can see it. So we're gonna boogie over there. Oh, good pull. <laughs> yeah, that's a decent bass. Yes, Mr. Loon, thank you. Nice, Smalley. Trolling like 30 foot. Boom! Trolling's done well for us this weekend. Week. Yeah, it has. This trip. Surprisingly. Yeah. Okay, we've made it to our campsite at 7B on Birch Lake and uh, hooked into a few fish on the way. We're pretty, I'm pretty exhausted from being in the boat. And I just, uh, yeah, we're gonna see how we feel make some dinner, maybe, maybe go out fishing. I don't know, we haven't decided yet. That's what's next, we're gonna have a talk. Okay, so we've decided on a plan. Uh, we're gonna start supper. Keep an eye on this, there we go. Stove's almost going. Um, and then get out and go fishing. We're not gonna bother setting up our tents yet. We're just gonna wait, do that in the dark. We've done it enough times. Yeah, so we have rice on the boil right there, just some jasmine rice. Um, on my dragonfly stove, which allows us to actually simmer the rice. And then we have, going down to this end, we have the wraps, which obviously you need. We have some hot sauce. We have some taco seasoning mix, which is gonna be great for this ground beef. But then we also have some chopped up dried salami and some jalapenos. And then this, these are organic refried pinto beans that have been dehydrated. So that's pretty cool. Here we go. Beef, sausage, beans, rice, hot sauce. There's a lot of food, dude. I was worried I might be hungry. Yeah, no way we're going hungry here. I feel like we gotta tell the story of the old man, even for ourselves to remember later. Is the camera on? Mm hmm Okay, so that's perfect. Um, so Adam and I get to the end of Devil Lake Portage, and at the end of the portage, into Devil Lake, I should say, from Big Clear, at the end of that portage, it is just like an old creek bed or something, because it's just boulders and like super rough, one of the roughest portages I've ever been down. And here comes this older guy behind us, 
had to be 90, looked 90, and with his two dogs. And uh, he comes up and he starts talking to us. And Adam's like, are you okay? And I look over at him and I realize, dude's got blood dripping down his head. And he's like, oh yeah, I just took a bit of a fall. I was like, well, we've got a first aid kit. Do you like need any help? Like we can help you. Are you, are you okay? Oh yeah, I, I ride bicycles all the time. I've taken falls bigger than this. <laughs> we're like in the middle of like the woods. Like I don't know of any paths that are very close to where we were. So that, <laughs> I really hope that old man made it out. That's a, uh, cause that was a treacherous climb, um, crazy path. And the dude was dripping blood from his head. <laughs> Anyways, had to share that. So we're gonna go fishing for bass and pike. And if we mark a lake trout and mark something deep, we'll do that. It's so calm and peaceful out here and nice and quiet. Oh, it's big. Not bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Well executed. Oh, yeah. Gave me a pretty good fight, too. Yeah, one good run. That was awesome. One on the board. Dude, I'm on. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. That is crazy. You're insane, little guy. It's dark out. I've been fishing. No bites yet. Now we're looking for ghosts. We're in a paddle pack. We'll go through the forest and see if we can find anything. Did you hear that? Once. Came with me on a camping trip, and he caught little baby fish, but I got a big one. <laughs> <laughs> Finally got the hammock set up. I'll show you that now. Yeah. And Ben, he's just over here. There. No, I'm just right here. Oh, that's Ben. Yeah. Here's the hammock. Got it set up with the tarp just on the outside. I'm gonna leave it off in case it rains. We're gonna. I think we're gonna get. I, I've bullied Ben into getting firewood. He doesn't want to do it. It's not that I don't want to do it. He doesn't want to do it. <laughs> I don't really want to do it. Okay, so we found a bunch of perfect wood, but this is literally like a cliff. You, there's no way to tell. So we're just throwing the stick down the cliff. This is super sketchy. <laughs> and you know, not to mention these are all like small little boulders, so I'm just grabbing on the trees and hanging on for dear life. Slow and steady. That's plenty, dude. Yeah. Somebody left us this note here. Dear fellow campers, please enjoy our unused sticks that we worked hard climbing mountains to find. I hope it keeps you warm tonight, but knowing the amount we left you, you'll probably have to collect more. And we did. Good luck, and feel free to burn this note as well. Drift slowly into the fire. Getting more and more sleepy. Go to sleep. Well, good morning. You slept pretty good last night. I slept pretty good last night. I slept great. So, uh, what's the plan? We're gonna go fishing, but where? We have some options. So, at our campsite here, there's actually a portage trail that leads to another lake. And what's in there? I don't know. Oh, we don't know. It's there, it's not part of any 
route. Like it's just kind of a one-off lake by itself, but there's a portage there. We're kind of curious to go check it out. Touched it, getting just like the tiniest little, oh, on. I don't want you to get that hook in my hand and I'd like to get it out of your face if you would just let me. And that is it for this episode of Micro Fishing at Argonne Lake. Archon? Archon. Here we're gonna make our way to uh, Big Salmon Lake. So we've got like one portage in between here and there, just like 1.1K. And then we're gonna fish Little Salmon Lake. It's like a tiny little lake. It's got bass and pike in it, and I don't know what else. Hey. Coffee time. Yeah. What did you just teach me? Stay loose in the hips. In choppy water. Yeah, when you're in the canoe or even in flat water it helps. Stay loose in the hips. I've always tensed up in choppy water trying to like balance the actual boat with my ass. Not realizing that it's the opposite, I guess, of what you want to do. Yeah. Let the boat rock and keep your body straight. Now look at this portage. It looks like a wall. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even see a I don't even see a trail. I don't even see a trail. Nobody does this. Yeah, what is going on here? Yeah, there's a trail there. Okay. Jeepers. Ew. Look at this rocky shoreline too. That's this messy. is. Let's go back. We'll just yeah, go back I'm, the way we came. I say we just like call the trip. I don't want to finish the trip now. Let's just go home. I have my SOS. I'll call a helicopter. Okay, that sounds great. Been such a good buddy. He's teaching me things, helping me out. You should bring Ben with you on a trip. Or get your own Ben. And we're off. Always hard to tell an incline in a video or on the camera, but this is a pretty steep hill. Holy shit. Oh shit, my shoelace is untied. Can I just pick the boat up? You want me to tie it up for you? Thanks, dude. You're welcome. This is what friends are for. Thanks. That's a tree. <laughs> Watch out for trees. There's trees on the trail here in Frontenac Provincial Park. We're still going up though. A little bit. That was a hike through the woods there, folks. But we made it to this really cool lookout above the lake that we're gonna fish the heck out of. Have a look, see. Very cool. Quite the hill to go down to get to the water still. I see lily pads. So somehow we like left the portage trail without knowing we left the portage trail. It very well could have split. Um, Adam brought up a good point. People probably come down this trail just for this lookout. We found our way down. <laughs> Let's get him, boy. Yeah. Got you. Oh! 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 <laughs> Yo! <laughs> he got you. He got me. That was funny. He ate right there beside the boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fish. Nice. This feels decent. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it got off. No way. No. Uh, it's because you didn't have the net ready. Yeah, it's because I didn't have the net ready. Right? That's why you... 
Nice. Over my head. Can you just be quiet up there? Oh, this is gonna be bad. I'm gonna get stuck on that frame. Oh shit. Am I hooked? It's in your your <laughs> it's in your sleeve. Is it in yeah. your arm? It's not in my arm. Oh man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh. I watched that thing just smack you right in the arm. Oh, that was close. Sorry, bud. It's all good, dude. Fish. Nice. I think it's a bass. <gasps> it got off! It's still on, I see it. It came back for it. <laughs> it came back for it. Nice. Oh, fish. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a golden smallie. Dude, it's actually golden. Dude. Dude, come here, come here. Whoa! Dude, are you kidding? Whoa! You just got a golden smallmouth. <laughs> Dude, that is neat. This is a weird bass. It's full of parasites, but like. It is actually golden. Yeah. Wow. I've never seen that. I never even knew they existed. <laughs> you can see the orange in its yeah, fins. Like, dude, it's just it's cool. nuts. All right, let's let it go. Wow. Golden Smalley. That's <laughs> it? That was neat. Yeah? Dude, I saw it in the water. I was like, what? I thought it was, I, I didn't know what it was. I've never seen a fish that color before. That was cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Depends on. It's nothing great, but if we land it, then it's better than all the other fish that we didn't land. No, oh, it's all right. Fish. Nice. Yeah, it's okay. Nice, dude. Yeah. Happy with that. A little bit of redemption since all the fish we lost. <laughs> this is just about it. <clears throat> Last portage, it's not a small one. 974 meters. That was a crazy cool golden bass. Never seen that before. And uh, it's gotta be rare. So it was very neat. What are you doing? Oh, I was just getting a little fuzzy in the head. Oh, okay, yeah, that's not good. Do you want me to take the boat? Um, I'm happy to. Okay, if you're happy to, then yeah. I'm happy to. If I would, I'd clap my hands. Because oh. I'm happy and I know it. If I would, I'd clap my hands and my bag would be positioned just like that. And I'd be good. I'm not whining. Ben is totally whining. <laughs> My bag. I'm not impressed. <laughs> here you go, cameraman. Okay, cool, got it. Looks like you got all downhill from here again. Yep, thanks for doing all the hard work. Smooth. Dude, you did it. You did it. That last 50 meters, man, oh, that was the worst of it all. Yep. All right, we have like a 200, pa we have like a 200 meter poor paddle, poor paddle. Why don't you show them the takeout? Yeah, there it is, there's a car. 
See? Right there. That's a car. Maker loop complete. We did it. Yeah, we actually did it. Um, and it was definitely more challenging than I think we thought it would be. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was not expecting those portages. Yeah. Um, I thought Kawartha was hilly. <laughs> this one, these hills were steep and like, there were like loose rocks and stuff. Like it was super yeah. sketchy. We're actually gonna do a full trip report of this uh, and give you more and in, more in-depth details of the, the trip. We just don't want to bore you right now. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, like that video. Subscribe for more and leave a comment. Um, we always like to hear feedback. Love to hear from you. All right, thanks for watching. Catch you later. Take care. Thanks, Ron Knock Outfitters. Thank you.